What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? So one woman's Chad is another woman's trash. And what I mean by this is there's no just scientifically just prototype of a man that's just a Chad or somebody that's just going to be attractive to every single female, right? And I'm going to get into it. This is Tarek Talks. So you already know what it is. Thank you for being with me. I appreciate it. All right. So a lot of the the reason why I'm making this chat, making this video is because a lot of these content creators will mislead and misguide young men and make it feel like it's somewhat hopeless. Right. Like if you don't have the stereotypical or typical Chad looks, then it's over for you. It's it's over. See, this is loser mentality. This is the type of mentality that losers have. OK, there is no single man on Earth that is just the prototype for every single woman. That's just going to be attractive to every single woman. Right. You know, these guys pull out these jawline rulers and measure how small your eyes are. And you know what I'm saying? Measure your hunter eyes and all this corny shit, bro. One one Chad to one woman is like a ugly, you know what I'm saying? It's like an unattractive dude to another chick. Same thing with us, vice versa. I've said this many a times. There's chicks that some dudes swear up and down are just dime pieces. They're like, oh man, I would do her. And I'm looking at her like, like she's the wicked witch of the West, right? That's how she looks to me. Like I wouldn't even touch her with, with a 10 foot stick, okay? So that's the same way. There is no just uh, measure or any kind of thing that a woman's attraction go goes by. You never know what they're attracted to. There is just absolutely no way that you could know what they're attracted to. Okay, yeah, six. They, they talking about, oh, he has to be six foot eight, you know, with a chiseled jawline, and he has to have a. 10 pack and make two million dollars a week and drive a lambo and act like an a-hole bro that's not not every you know i'm starting to kind of think these dudes are disconnected from reality i'm starting to kind of think these guys are just trapped in this virtual maze right and and uh what's funny is a lot of these content creators say a lot of guys are stuck in the matrix that's funny because they get out of that one one matrix, right? The lubby dubby scent matrix, and they hop into another one, which is this whole Chad. You got to be a Chad six foot eight, or you know, they hop from one matrix to another, right? It's dynamic. You you cannot just pinpoint what a chick is attracted to. It is dynamic. There's no one kind of prototype. Okay. Now, do some men get more attraction than others? Yeah, I'm not gonna sit here and and deny that. Do some dudes get more play than others? Yes, they do. But that doesn't mean that average guys or non chads don't get play. They get, bro. I've seen some beautiful young ladies with guys. I be hitting these bars, you know. I I go out. I go out a lot. Malls, supermarkets, parks. You know, I was at the park the other day. There was a chick. You know, it was a Latina couple, right? And that's another thing you kind of gotta take into consideration is what you know what's the what's the socioeconomic standing what is the cultural thing right within that community what is considered attractive in, in other people's community right and I, I went off on a little tangent but it was a uh, you know latino latino couple the young lady was very attractive she was very attractive right and I, and it would be a general consensus okay she was with a guy that was like, will be considered an incel. And I seen this at the park, right? I was doing my little, uh, my exercises and stuff, getting some sun. And I seen her, her, uh, her children's father. Dude was like five foot six. They had three kids. And one of them looked like they, they're like a couple months old. So she just recently had a kid with him. You know what I'm saying? But by Chad standards, he will be that they, they, they would say that he ain't getting no kind of play, but his son's mother was was extremely attractive. And they were in the park playing with their kids. You feel what I'm saying? Just having a good time in the sun. So there is no 
scientific, you know, at, at to some extent there is like, like, like when I say get your physique on point and stuff, that's, that's just something that's going to enhance. That's nothing that's going to hurt you, right? Getting yourself into a healthy shape is not, is never going to be a, a bad thing. Being healthy is never a bad thing, right? It can only help. But even then, like I said, uh, dudes who, who are under six foot, they can they can look healthy and they could get a very decent looking chick. Do Dude, shit. Dudes under five, nine. I've seen it before with my own eyes. You cannot tell me it does not happen. OK. The thing is. The thing is, these guys, their problem is not that they don't have a jawline. Their problem is, is that they're socially awkward they have no kind of interaction skills, no kind of social skills. They probably don't take care of themselves hygienically or physical wise, and they just blame it. Oh, I'm not a Chad. I'm not a Chad, so I'm just gonna get mad at females and I'm just gonna get mad at the world and complain, right? That's what. That's probably what that is. That's probably the case, okay? So there is just no certain type of prototype of man that a chick is just going to be like head over heels with like just this one prototype. Every chick got her preference. Okay. Just like us, we have our preferences. Okay. Sometimes we might mess with a supermodel looking chick, right? Sometimes we might mess with a plain Jane that other people might be like, damn, I don't see nothing in her, but to you, she's fine as hell to you. Okay. So anyway, with that being said, man, I'm out.